Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you with another Pants and Cowboy Boots video. Today we have the Carhartt Wash Twill Relax Fit Work Pant and I got a bunch of different cowboy boots I'm gonna try with these pants to see how they look and to see if they can fit your needs in a work pant. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. Before we begin, I need a sip of coffee. Today I'm sipping on the Anchorhead coffee, which is one of my favorite coffees of all time. I like all roasts of coffee, but I am particularly fond of the roasts that are coming out of Anchorhead because they're like a breakfast blend. They're very light, but with lots of flavor. Anchorhead has a couple of locations in the Seattle, Washington area. They're based in Duval, Washington, but they will ship nationwide if you order through their website. If you use my name, Jeremiah Craig, without any spaces in the discount code area, that will save you 10% on your order. So if you need a new coffee for your work thermos, Give Anchorhead a try. Now let's get into these Carhartts. All right, here is the Carhartt Wash Twill Relax Fit Work Pant. But before we get into trying all these boots, we got to give this pant a quick rundown. All right, speaking of coffee, these Carhartt Work Pants are a dark coffee color and feature a 9.25 ounce, 100% cotton ring spun peach twill. The ring spun makes it more durable and the peaching makes these pants a lot more soft than what you would expect. These are a relaxed fit straight leg cut with outside seams on the inner leg and the outer leg. Those outside seams have three rows of top stitching instead of the usual two rows that you would get from your normal run of the mill work jean. You also have multi-tool pockets here and a hammer loop on the other side. These Carhartt work pants are made in Mexico and you can find them at the Carhartt website for around $40. Now let's try on some of these boots and see how well they go with these pants. All right, I'm starting with a Boulet 9381 and I like to run these working from the most round toe to the most square toe. So we're starting out with a Roper boot. I have a feeling that this dark coffee color isn't going to go with a lot of different kinds of color boots that I have here, but they are work pants, so it really doesn't matter if they match or not. Another thing that I didn't really mention at the beginning of this video was Carhartt work pants was all that I used to wear. I think that this is a pretty good look, starting out with the Roper. Now let's try it with more of a cowboy boot look. Still with the round toe, but featuring a Uto. All right, here we have a Uto cowboy boot with a little bit more of a heel on here. This is the Hondo 7875. It is one of their best work boots that Hondo has. And of course, because it is such a good work boot, it is going very well with this Carhartt work pant. I chose my true size, so my real measurement is a 32-34. If I was going to stack a pair of jeans, I would get a 32-36, but I don't want the stacked look with a work pant, especially a relaxed fit straight leg. For me, that's just going to look really, really sloppy. I would do more of a cowboy cut stack look, but not with a relaxed fit. It would be so awful looking. So if you guys are considering maybe going from a Wrangler and how you stack your Wranglers to a Carhartt, I would say bring it back up two inches or so and don't go for that stack look because it's just going to look so sloppy and it might actually end up being dangerous because you don't want all that extra baggy material while you're working around heavy equipment. Now let's try these Carhartts with an Arto boot. All right, here we have a medium round toe, also known as an R toe. This is a Boulet 7031, and this is actually the boot that has seen the most wear with Carhartts. I used to wear Carhartt jeans and Carhartt pants all the time when I was going to Monroe Community College and working summers at the local water company on the buildings and grounds crew. So I Square guys, I used to have Carhartts on me all the time. 
and this is a blast from the past, bringing back so many memories. This nostalgia is just overwhelming for me right now. I think this works. I used to do this all the time. It's not the best. There are definitely other pants that are better with medium round toes, but it, will, it looks good. It can work. It can work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, so many memories flooding back to me right now with this combination. Now let's try this pant with an even more pointed round toe, a J-toe. All right, here we have a J-toe water buffalo calf boot from BNV Boots. And I feel like we're gonna be starting to get into the territory where these jeans just don't work with some boots just because they're more dressy, right? The boots are gonna be more dressy than what these pants can do, especially when we get into the, some of these exotics. I don't know if these pants will work with the exotics. Right now, I feel like this is kind of working. I feel a little bit awkward in it. I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't work in a J-toe. I don't think I would work in this boot. Maybe that Hondo 7875 would see the most or some of these square toes that we're gonna get to in a second. But if you really had to and you were feeling like just hanging out in your favorite pair of boots and also your favorite pair of Carhartt work pants because they're comfortable and soft, <laughs> and maybe even broken in by the time that you get them really worn in, I feel like it could work. I feel like you could do this. Not the best look, I feel like, but you can pull it off. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, let's see what happens when we try it with a snip toe exotic boot. All right, here's the snip toe. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Black Cherry Cayman Tail Boot, and uh, I'm not really sure that the dark coffee is going with the black cherry. It's kind of working, I don't know. It's just also a little bit awkward to me to see a pair of Carhartts with some exotic going down there. Uh, not really comfortable in this, I gotta be honest with you guys. But the relaxed fit is fitting over top of the top of these boots very, very well. In fact, you really can't even tell on a lot of these so far how wide the shaft was or how narrow. Like on the J-toe boots that we just looked at, that was a very narrow shaft. And on the Hondos, that was a bit wider and might have hung up the pant a little bit up top, but it did fine. So I'm not really seeing a reason to do this <laughs> but if you guys like this look definitely let me know down in the comments now let's try it with a french toe all right here's a french toe cayman belly from boulet and again here i feel like this boot is too fancy for these work pants i don't know it just doesn't sit right with me it just doesn't feel like the correct thing to do <laughs> if you were going to wear these Cayman Belly boots someplace, I would want to wear more of a dress jean or something a little bit more fitting so that you show off the boot a little bit more. The relaxed fit is really covering up a lot of this boot and it just doesn't present itself as well as I feel like this boot should. So like the Levi's 501 or perhaps the Wrangler 13 MWZ, those will work much better with some of these exotics than what the Carhartts are, in my opinion. But as always, I wanna know your opinions down in the comments and if you're seeing any boots here that you like and you want to see more of, all the links to each and every boot that I'm wearing has their own video, they're all in the description. All right, here we have a narrow square toe. This is an Ariat Legend boot with a little bit taller heel there. I was a little bit skeptical of putting this boot on with this jean since it's dark coffee and black. I'm not really fond of the dark browns and blacks and trying to mix them, but it's not the worst look in the world. I don't hate it. So there it is with the narrow square toe. Now let's try it with a 
wide square toe, and a double stitch welt. All right, here we have a double stitched welt wide square toe. This is the Ariat cow hand. And uh, I feel like this is working well. These wide square toe boots are often work boots and it goes really well with this work pant. It's covering up the tops really well and uh, it just feels really nice. I I'm, I'm feel like I'm ready to go get the job done. But we have one more boot to try and that's an actual work boot with a wide square toe. And it also has a steel toe. So let's do that because I think that's gonna cap this whole thing off really nicely. All right, here the Carhartt work pants are with the Ariat Work Hog square toe. And it also has a steel toe. This is a match made in heaven. This is what these work pants are meant to go with a work boot and this is what it looks like with a steel toe i just i just feel like this is the way to, i don't even know what else to say do i need to say anything this is what these pants are meant to go with let me know what you think of the carhartt wash twill relax fit work pant overall i am pretty surprised at how soft they are I didn't remember that when I used to wear these all the time and about how light they are. They feel really good and I'm excited to have a pair back in my pant collection. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. I do these videos on a regular basis and I don't want you to miss any. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Peace. Today I took it back to the start. By trying these car hearts And I still like how they're made Comfort for work and play You won't regret Putting some in your cart Hey Thanks for watching today If you want to keep watching I got a video up here about the area work hawks Or a song down there that I think you might enjoy Subscribe button over here I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.